so numb. I feel so numb. I'll tell you what though. My neck's feeling smoother than ever. Yeah. The ingrown hairs, the, they are the, the bumps, the razor bumps. That's what they are. They're not ingrown hairs because they don't go back into the skin. I didn't understand that that was what an ingrown hair was. So that it goes, when after doing a bit of research, or going onto YouTube really, it's an ingrown hair is a hair that goes, it comes up, but then it goes, it digs down into the, digs back down into the skin. And you can literally tweeze it out. I haven't been talking about ingrown hairs. I've been talking about razor bumps this entire time. Not ingrown hairs, because the hairs that I do have, they don't curve back in to the skin. So, yeah. By definition, it's not ingrown hairs I've been talking about. It's razor bumps. But that's not what I'm trying to talk about anyway. The main topic of this video is how I've been feeling numb. And I think how I need to solve, how I can solve this. Not necessarily need to, but how I can is to detox. I've been watching a lot of Love Dorsey these past few days. Oh no, I don't like that anymore. I've been watching a lot of Love Dorsey these past few days. And look, a lot of videos, man, a lot of videos. Her videos to me, to me, they just apply to me so much that I'm just trying to be a sponge and I'm just trying to listen. I really like basically every single message that she has in her video so much that I watch from start to finish. Finish. I start. I watch from start to finish. Not necessarily all the time, but for the most part, I'm watching these half hour, fifty minute videos. I'm watching them in one sitting, and. Obviously, my attention spans increased. My attention spans increased. I can watch videos. I can watch videos for much longer than I could in the past. For much longer than I could in the past. For much longer than I could in the past. Yeah. So, if, but but with that being the case, I've now had to. I now have to rein it in and use channel that improved attention span into something else into things that are much more natural rather than just being on the phone i mean i'm on the i'm literally on the phone right now yeah it's not in my hands but i'm still on it because I'm, I'm using it to record a video and if i detox use sunday as a day non-negotiably use sunday as a day where i only go on the phone to track my meals then Well, even if I, you know what, even if I, I, even if I, how, I've literally just come up with an idea. So, if I use it to track meals, that's still a reason to go on the phone. But if I don't, if I don't, and I just use, I use Sundays to not go on the phone at all. And I, I still have plans. I always make plans for the days. As in, this is something that is now going to be non-negotiable from now on always having a plan without fail even if it's five minutes even if it took five minutes to write down yeah so yeah i really think detoxing is the way i oh, hold on which one yeah, yeah, yeah cool Ooh. oh here you go you can see the look i think moral of the story is Press a lot more lightly with the blade and yeah your thing won't be so messed up and also don't use the big sticks from savers do not use the big sticks from savers that that is how i got here to begin with please please don't don't in that case in that regard don't be like me don't do it you don't need to do it to yourself get you a high quality stick from boots uh, for, for me personally, I got a Gillette Pro guy because the shaving stick that my dad had was it was just so old that they didn't have it in store. I showed them an image of it, but they, they was like, "No, no, we don't have that." Cause look how old the thing was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I need to detox. I want to detox. 
Uh, I, I, sorry, let's try that again. I want to detox and I think the way how I can do that is like not even using these days to track. Like literally, just, just to start off with, just stop using the phone basically entirely. On Saturday, record the video videos record the plank journey rest day i just pull faces and the uh, road to making mega box just pull faces made that on the saturday yeah and then sunday not can't go on the phone at all just can't go on the phone at all because if i track if i say oh i want to track that's another reason to go on the phone you, you must have zero reasons to go on the phone <sighs> or otherwise these or otherwise I'll have consequences. There will be consequences, like feeling mentally numb. This is how I describe it. You know when you tense your jaw, you tense your jaw, you do it, you do it, you, you tense your jaw a lot, and for prolonged periods of time, just like, and you do it for a very long time, and you start feeling that feeling in your head. That's what I was feeling from watching all the love. All of those love Dorsey videos. <sighs> I'm not saying, oh, it's her fault. No, no, not at all. And I've been soaking the message that she has in her videos. That's so much. I've been trying to soak it in that. In my head, I've been thinking like how she would speak. And I need that. De I need the detox to understand that the way how she speaks and the way how she thinks isn't how i've thought that's that hasn't come from within that's just come from me watching her videos shout out to pretty gangster yeah subscribe to that channel shout out to pretty gangster recording all her lives and that yeah <laughs> shout out to pretty gangster knob scene knob scene yeah shout out to uh, that person Judging by her profile picture, it's a light skinned chick. Shout out to her. That that is not a girl. That's a, if the the profile picture is the actual person running the account. That's a grown ass woman. <sighs> Probably a strong and empowered one. That's not an asshole to guys. Yeah, come on. Oh. You know, those sorts of, you, the, not girls, women, those sorts of real strong women that don't need to try and prove that they're strong to men by showing aggression. Those ones that actually know how to be feminine, know how to be sexy. That's, yeah, probably like those, those sorts of women. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those sorts of women get the thumbs up from me, not the girls, the, the women. The women, those sorts of women, they get the thumbs up from me. And yeah, I might have to actually take Love Dorsey's advice um, in terms of like the eight dates thing. Go on eight different sorts of dates to understand what sort of person the, the, the girl is. I've thought of knowing friends in different environments, but I haven't. I didn't put a number on it. And the girls I'd be seeing, they wouldn't be friends. But I mean, actually, I mean, with um, with men, for example, uh, I thought, yeah, I, I, in numerous environments, just I did, but I didn't put a number on it, like how Love Dorsey put a number on it, eight different environments. She didn't say minimum or maximum in the podcast. It's uh, Love Dorsey in the trap video. That whoa. <sighs> yeah. Imagine going off topic my inner thighs still feel sore from all of those calisthenics workouts i've been doing i said oh today today i'm not going gym but i've said today is a detox day so i went gym i didn't train i was just by the rowing machine i was just sitting on the rowing machine i did a little bit started pushing myself more and more i was barely trying No, when you when you row and you sit down like this, I was pulling up to below my knee. I was barely pulling, then then up to my knee, then past my knee, and then I eventually started rowing to my stomach and then doing that with intensity. Yeah, intensity. 
<laughs> but I didn't do much. I wasn't meant to do anything at all. Today was meant to be a rest day. But I went to the gym and I did that. Yeah, I think I know what to do. Oh, look at the veins. Look at the veins. If I keep on resting on my bicep like this, my 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 arm my arm is gonna get it. It's gonna feel numb. My head doesn't feel so numb, but <clears throat> yeah, I, I was just feeling so overstimulated, so overstimulated, and I'm not confused as to why. There is no confusion in my mind as to why. It's just that I've got to do what I've got to do. Like I've got to have a few days off where I could just get my mind right and actually do what I set myself to do. And I'm not going to do it extremely. I want to do like one day off, no screens at all. One day off every Sunday, no screens at all. I need to be able to get my mind right and fix myself. It's like I'm starting again. But starting what again? I said that with with no deep thought behind it, but I really think there is a deep meaning to it. I think right now, yeah, I am starting again. And this is the reason that I've come up with just right now off my head. And I think what it is, is that I am now in a new stage in this journey. The novelty is now worn off. The novelty is now worn off. This isn't new to me. Creating numerous videos a day is not new to me. Yesterday I created today's plank journey log and road to making mega box video. So that was pre-recorded. This is actually the first video I'm making today. But yeah, after less than five months, we've got a week, exactly a week until it's the 29th. And the five month mark hits. And now that the novelty's worn off, we're now in a new stage where it's like I'm starting again by setting more foundations and more non negotiables. This isn't new anymore. I don't have that motivation. No, I, I don't have any motivation because of that. That being, oh, yeah, it's new. Oh, thank fuck, I've started. I don't have that anymore. If there's anything... If there were to be motivated... If I were to have motivation and I were to feel motivated, then it wouldn't be because of that. But hold up a sec. Is motivation a feeling? Is it a feeling or something you have? I don't know. Uh, I'd have to think about it, come up with an answer. Something that I think is the case. I don't know, I don't know. But I do know this, the novelty's worn off and I'm now having to set more. I'm now, this is the, 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 the point now where I'm having to really progress past what I've made already. And the only way I can do that is by doing more and learning more, doing more, learning more, and being very specific, use numbers, use ways to track, use numbers, use figures, use, use ways of accountability, have mental male figures in that. Just all, not even necessarily just male, but just older people who are in position that I that I want to be in, or at least want to work up to and then surpass. And that does not discriminate gender. That is not discriminatory. That could be male and or, uh, and or females out there, but they'd have to be grown ass men and grown ass women. Thirty five plus, or if a thirty year old is in a situation that I'd want to be in, then. I don't mind listening to him, although he's a bit young. And you can say, oh, well, you're, you're 20, isn't that? Aren't you young? Yeah. 
but I want to be looking at people who are in, who are in, who are in a position that I want to be in and surpass. Not someone who's getting it together. Although that does have its time and place when it comes to having a mentor, mentors, I'm not trying to have a mentor from someone that's getting it together. A friend, no problem. But a mentor slash father slash mother, mother figure, or just basically just like a mentor figure. No, I'm not trying to have a mentor figure. That's someone that's just like me trying to get it together where I could genuinely be the smartest person in the room. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take Sundays off, like completely from now on. Take Sundays off, no screens at all, completely. Because uh, just for now, until I can trust myself to be, or to only use it to track meals, until I get myself right, until I get my mind right. <sighs> but for now, that's. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something valuable, and I'll see you in the next one, peace. I'm going to have to make no screens on Sunday, non-negotiable. When I was clipping uh, my left index finger, you can see here, you can see there's a little purple, it's a bit dark purple, there's a small spot that's dark purple, that I'm covering now. Look, it's there, it's not. <coughs> can you see that? Let me just focus, try and make it focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. I think you can see it. Uh, I'll make sure, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do overlay. I just want to upload. But, yeah. Cut the, I cut too deep without even realising it. And then it was bleeding. It felt painful, but I didn't know why. But then I looked, oh, it's completely bleeding. But, yeah, it's recovered. Oh, just like how my neck is recovering from all those razor bumps I gave myself from using low-quality sticks. Now, from now on, every few days, I've been shaving every few days, but I'm going to shave lightly from now on every few days. And I think by the end of the year, it'll be completely gone. All of these razor bumps will be completely gone and I'll be looking sexier than ever because there won't be razor bumps on the jawline and there won't be razor bumps on my neck I'll, I would have put myself in a position where my neck I can put my hands on my neck all I want and it won't hurt it feels a bit sensitive slightly sensitive here like the rub on even though it's felt more sensitive in the past, it still feels sensitive to rub here where all these spots are. I have imperfections, man. I have imperfections and I don't want ingrown hairs either. No, I don't. Look at this one. I tried shaving lightly, but it came anyway. I was trying to get rid of the hair there. I did just that, but then, because I'd done that, it started bleeding. Oh. Oh. I just keep on shaving lightly with a um, triple blade stick from the, uh, for now. And then if I'm still in the same place months later, then I'll try the single blade stick as the barber was saying to do. That helped him. We'll see. We'll see if it works. But anyway, yeah, that's that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something valuable. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.